have a heart. But he still got a hug. case board. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared. Yeah, that was wild. What the hell is going on here? We need to figure and that out. scared the living crap out of me. <laughs> That's Somehow the end of the last episode. Of this. Oh, man. Yeah, I'll say. Yeah, that scared the living crap out of me, though. Like, it, the page was like, he sits up and he kills everybody. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And then he sat up and killed everybody. Thank goodness uh, we're still here and Casey's still here. Uh, I was concerned that Casey would be gone. Um, Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Whoa. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Oh, that's so cool. Saga would learn how. I like how they put Alan in there. Cool. You can read your manuscript pages. Oh, here in the uh, the quiet place. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Uh, okay. He was there too. Nightingale was, but wasn't a taken. A creature of darkness. Oh, I see. Okay, so you can do it like that. Oh, that's cool. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Yeah, he disappeared. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. That's Tim anxious. Breaker, though. That's from Quantum Break. Uh, Tim Breaker. Mystery. But there was also Sarah Breaker was the sheriff of this town before. So that's, I doubt that's a coincidence, but uh, I know Remedy renames characters and ties their universe together, but There's still. There's no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but <laughs> we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure Could out you imagine if they actually owned the rights to Max Payne that Alex Casey here would be Max Payne? Like, that. I just, thinking about that is like, you know, this is partly heartbreaking. <laughs> Not, but I like, I mean, Casey, they set him up in uh, Alan Wake 1, so... He's a slightly different character, kind of, you know, inspired, I guess, by Max Payne in a way. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Mm, yeah. Maybe. That's what I'm thinking. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. Yeah. Okay. So we got some info. Uh, let's see. No. Uh, what? Nope. Keep trying. Yeah, no. Oh, talk to someone. Back here. This one. Colt Goal. That's it. That's what I was looking for. There we go. Killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. True. All right, let's go look. Is it still daytime upstairs? Because it's really dark down here. Oh, wow. You know, he ain't going to be in Rush Hour 3. Or Alan Wake 3. <laughs> I can't force it open. Jeez. Can we not... Oh, can we not get out? Here we go. Yep, I was dumb. I thought we were done with this stuff, but a dead man turned into a monster. Here we go. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. Yeah. All right. Let's get started then. Boom. The overlap. What? These pages aren't making sense. Yeah, well, welcome to Alan Wake. <laughs> well, it will make sense just in time. According to the page, it sounds like Nightingale went back to Cauldron Lake and he's a Taken. All right, so we got our answer. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake, calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. 
<laughs> right, Ace. Ace is on board. <laughs> you guys hear him snoring? We, we heard gunshots, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster, and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. They're just gonna buy that? We'll do what we can, man. Are these the guys that from out in the woods? Um, the guys who called us like. That's crazy, right, Thornton? Thornton, that's it. Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? Can't open this with my bare hands. Yeah, I need to get some bolt cutters. Well, that's all crazy talk. Yeah, I was gonna say they're just gonna well, accept that <laughs> we just call. Okay. Yeah, Tevia will test. He's played the first one like me and and uh Hello. and is now playing he's streaming this one as well. It's funny, Tevia, anytime I play like a game, Tevia is also streaming it, so I can't watch his playthroughs until after I beat the game because I don't want spoilers. But your playthroughs are so fun, Tevia. I've seen your Spider Man ones now and uh now that I've beaten the game last week and uh and I will definitely watch your Alan Wake ones. Um all right, so let's head back to where we gotta got to go. Town, Anderson. Just yeah, my bearings. exactly. Ready That's go? literally what I was doing. Okay. Well, let's go to Cauldron Lake. Hey, you're welcome, Tevia. No problem, man. Love supporting you, dude. You're a good dude. So same with Andy. If you don't follow Andy already, definitely I check out his stuff. Clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer. Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Right. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Because he's Alex Casey. <laughs> um, oh, you're welcome, Andy. Andy says I make him blush. Yeah, you're welcome, too. Similar <laughs> job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then... Ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Wow. Fragments of prose describing murders. He was getting Alan Wake pages. What happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It Wait, in New York? Murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. Ah. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In the Ten end, years ago? Performing a ritual. Whoa! Imagined profit. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance. Were they bringing Wake back though, or were they bringing Mr. Scratch over? Because that's the question. His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the. So there's, there's. I love that we're getting this lore that took place between the two games. So three years after Alan Wake one, there was a series of murders in New York led by a cult trying to quote unquote resurrect. Alan Wake. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Or bring him back from the dark place. But like I said, that could be Mr. Scratch. And he could be behind this cult as well. Part two, the heart. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking... Sorry, I didn't mean to cut her off. Let's start looking. Oh, it did cut her off. So she must have kept... Oh, interesting. Did she keep talking while I was on the other screen? That could be very interesting. What's this say? Cauldron Lake Rental Cabins. Didn't we do this before? Don't we need the bolt cutters? And I like that we ran into... Um, Control, like we, we saw a sign for the uh, Federal Bureau of Control, uh, the FBC, which is um, really, really cool because if you have not played the game Control, which was made by Remedy, that's a direct connection to it. So the thing about Remedy is like they've kind of made a shared universe here. And like I said, if they still own the rights to Max Payne, then that guy over there, Alex Casey, would probably be Max Payne. As an, as an FBI agent or a detective or something, you know, um, and you'd be partnered with him. So I think that's really 
really cool that they've tried to build this like shared universe thing. Remember Ohio? Sure. The North Side Slasher. But that case was completely different. The trees, hmm. Anderson. He hid the bodies in the forest. Oh. Okay. So these guys have been they've been to a few places together, huh? I've been Him and Saga. More about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? That's true. My experience. They don't. <laughs> That's also true. We're not seeing the full picture. Wait, who's yet. that? Well, it's because they're being written to be a cult, right? So it's like a fictional thing. Like in a in a horror story, so they would call themselves a cult. But in Hey. hey. But in real life, they wouldn't. Hello, Saga Anderson. Yeah, what are you guys doing here? Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Il Mokoskela. Oh. Fantastic to meet you. Hey, we saw your commercial. And here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Steven. This impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. Whoa. Bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? How's it going? Uh, yeah, we're looking for a dead body How did you or hear about the murder, a murder Ella? suspects. Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our oh. Coffee World Amusement Park. There's Do we get to go to another city in this? <laughs> and we That'd be awesome. Variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking. Yeah, the There's FBC. Steven over there works for the Federal Bureau of Control. Nice. Good call, Tevia. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control. Now all we need is the main main character of control to be in this game. Ha! <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. Research purposes. That's one. Is that door open? Sweater saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. Wait, Nordic? My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. Hmm. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjala, Peter. Suomi. Klaus. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't hmm. know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Stephen, we're investigating a murder that um, nearby. Yeah, I'm curious about her backstory too. Europe? And uh, nothing that isn't classified. I'm afraid. Obviously, we had but I don't Thor about a murder. and Odin here are in the first part. game, in the I'm guise of two old men. Who so used to be in a rock band called the Old Gods of Asgard? The so real big here. I like that they put a lot of that lore in here too. Can not run through a garbage can? Okay, we're done for now. All right, I guess I'm done talking to them. Yeah, can I look in here though? That's cool that this is just open now. You play there, oh, look. Uh, maintenance note: Clear signs of tampering. Signal was rerouted into a transmitter. Okay. Stephen Lynn, chief technician from the FBC. All right. So just setting up shop, doing a little, doing a little work. So we already came over here, right? Because we found this earlier. I think there's a lunch box here. Yep, and we already cleared it out. Yeah, we're all in this together, hero. Ach, my beer. <laughs> All right, guys. Nice meeting you. Let's get to the murder side, Casey. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. Yeah, for I sure. I have a feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. Yeah, he just disappeared. More of those pages. It's almost like, yeah, I was Something gonna say. Didn't want us to have them, or was protecting him from Nightingale. Maybe that could be it too. I don't know. I, 
Maybe Alan was like, he's in danger there. We can we can give her the pages later. Let's write him out of the story. Because I'm starting to think that Alan has become like a, a god in a way, where he is a... Uh, he can literally put anyone here at any time that he wants, I'm, I'm assuming. What is that? No, look. It seems like it's reacting to the light. It's open. This is, you're yeah, right, this was not underwater before. The tracks that were here before. No, they weren't. Into the tree, not out of it. Right. Oh, whoa. My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It was covering another page. Crap. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. Oh, yeah, her little I cabin. I the pages to lead me to the overlap. Whoa, okay. Dude. And now to see your love set free, you will need the witch's cabin key. Find the lady of the light gone mad in the night. That's how you reshape destiny. Okay, so the game says that there's a fuse in the immediate area of the witch's hut. So that's interesting because I feel like we looked around where the witch's hut is and we didn't see a freaking fuse. But we'll try again. What? Was this here earlier? This fuse is busted. Okay. No, it was here earlier. This this walkway was here earlier. Have we been here before, right? I feel like we've read this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that fuse is busted. What about this one? This one looks good. Oh, okay, I good. should really stop littering, though. All right. Yeah, see, we have been here before. This was one of the first lunch boxes we found, I think. All right, so I don't know how I missed that walkway. Well, I do know. I'm an old man. Um, all right, so. Let's go put the fuse in. There is a light in here. Holy cow. And a thermos. And a safe space. The break room is a place where you can save your progress. Oh, wow. Oh, using the thermos we can save? Another page. Making What's... progress. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Whoa. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? The close. It was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. I'm really curious how she's able to get into his mind. Like, it's one thing to That's predict not a couple of yokels. Um, there must be more. Interesting, but like, wait, oh, that's interesting. He was like, who said that? Nightingale's heart. Where is it? For a while, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. 
Nightingale's heart what is at the, the general heck? store in a fridge. What? What a lucky ass guess. I mean, but yeah, I'm like, I don't know. I guess that's kind of her ability is that she could kind of tap into the mind of things, but I need to check the general store for the heart. Okay. Casey, I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got been turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. <laughs> the years I spent with my ex-wife. I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it. Alright, so... Somewhat... So it's here? I was thinking we had to go back to Bright Falls and get it. But you're... It's saying that it's here in a refrigerator? Christ! What the what? There was a deer in here. Holy crap! Dude. Oh my god! Holy cow. What the what? Cultist. The monster. Holy crap. Use painkillers to allow you to heal? Um. And how do I use them? Oof. Okay. Dude, that... <laughs> and I think we've seen that footage before in one of the trailers. Um, I tried not to watch too many of the trailers, but one of the first ones showed someone burst through a wall like that, and... Oh, man. There it is. The text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. What? I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew Wait. it would be here. Yeah, you were I in his mind. Dream. Crap, dude. And now I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. Does it? <laughs> Glad you think so. Okay, um, let's equip the gun now. There we go. 39. <laughs> Match the lotto tickets. So that's why they keep calling the psychic, is to get the lotto numbers, probably. So they're just being scammed. Potentially. Um, allegedly. Perform the ritual to open the overlap. Okay. Well, I don't want the shotgun right now. I want to keep the handgun. But it's good that we have the shotgun. <laughs> Glad we solved that puzzle. Alright, so which is ladle? Here we go. Let's put the heart right in. It's creepy seeing her again. You can't undo this, Anderson. You better... Really think this the through. Crashed on the far side of the mirror. I brought you the heart witch. Show me the terror. Whoa. You hear her voice? You asked for it. Screen. Oh, I gotta walk through it? Is that what's happening? I see her moving. Oh god, okay. Whoa! Okay, now I can see the screen. Whoa, dude. Jeez. Casey, I think I'm in the overlap. Are you still on your way? Casey! 
Dude, you entered another realm of existence. Fuck. Okay, Saga. Going in solo. Yeah, dumb move, but... Logan? What? Logan! Where are you? What the fuck was that? Logan's back in Virginia. You're imagining things. Yeah, should I be ignoring? Or like, investigating? Okay, well, nothing here. page Okay. Yeah, this is we're going to just be in a loop, aren't we? Need to find Nightingale. Whoa, whoa. What the hell was that? Look like street lights. What the what? Dude. Whoa. Oh, God dang. Is he... Oh, Jesus. See, those aren't scaring me, those jump things. They're more like messing with my head visually. Like, uh... Like those fragment things that keep popping up. Um, and I don't enjoy the feeling. here. Nightingale. Uh, you think? <laughs> okay. Suck it up, Buttercup. Let's get through this. Who is that? Who it's do like you think? It's over a bad signal. You're literally in his video game. <laughs> uh oh. Sent to find the light switch. Oh, the clicker. Yeah. Is it still here somewhere? Because Alan put his hand through the witch and acted the clicker, right? And that. I don't know what that did, if it killed her or not. But, um. But we just put a heart in through her in the sign. What is happening? Are we in a subway or are we in the woods? Dang, man. Yeah, it's like foggy, too. Dude. What? Oh, let's, uh... Oh, jeez! Thank goodness. Oh, god dang! Dude. No, no, no. No, no. All 
right, I'm just gonna run. <laughs> that red thing looks like one of those tornadoes from the first game. Oh, hello. Oh, good. More stuff to grab. Is he coming or what? Maybe I ran a little. Oh, there he is. Oh, okay. Dead end. Oh, no. Never mind. Oh, dang. this I wish we had flares like before dang this way I was like there's no way fighting him is the option it's got to be like a run because she said run at the beginning um, so I think we're, oh, look, something over here. There we go. Holy crap. So it was supposed to be like, run, find more ammo, then fight him. I mean, I guess we probably could have killed him at any one of those instances, potentially, but... Whoa! What? Is he talking backwards? Oh! What is this? Who are you? What's happening? You me. I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes, sir. I'm at Cauldron Lake. Where are you? What's up with her voice? In danger. You hear that bass under her voice? Is she like unwillingly working for the darkness? Whoa. Oh, yeah, I can't look at this. That it's done. Whoa! <gasps> to its shores I have been. To its shores I have been. Are you okay? No. Whoa, no way! It got out with my face! Scratch! Sir! Scratch! Down. Scratch is alive! I need you to take a breath. It's, it's changed the story. The, the dark presence. We must stop it. Before. Wait, what? Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Whoa. Where did you come from? You've been missing we, for 13 years. We got him out? By killing Nightingale? 13. Oh, shit. 